What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out another video. Today, I am going to be taking a look at the Aut Defoe Pro Picks bait box from Bass Pro Shop. Picked this up at Bass Pro Shop, I wanna say like last week maybe. Uh, it's $39, $39.99, and it says on the top here, it is a $59 plus value there. So $40 for presumably 60, plus dollars worth of baits. And uh, you know how I like a mystery box uh, opening, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna open this up, take a look at what's inside of it. I'll give you my initial reactions and thoughts to the box about the value, the lures that are inside of it, uh, all that good stuff. Now I will say they do have what's in the box available. It's printed on the back and it's also listed on the website. I quickly like clicked through that. I haven't looked at the box, so I don't know what's in here. Um, if you pick one of these up for yourself, you can find out. You can read what all is in it. Uh, I haven't done that because I like the mystery of it. So let's bust this thing open and we will see what's in it. Oh, it also says you can scan there to see what's inside. So uh, I didn't do any of that stuff. <laughs> uh, sight unseen, I just bought it. So here's what we've got. A lot of terminal I'm seeing already. Um, so a few or a couple of pieces of terminal. The uh, Tokyo rig, VMC Tokyo rig, right there. That is the three aught. There's two of them in there. Pretty nice. I've never used a Tokyo rig. I may have to check it out. VMC weedless Nico hooks. Um, Going to be a very similar hook to a wacky. Wacky cell hook, weed guard there. Um, yep, it even tells you there on the back that Nico's just got a nail weight in the in the front end of the Cinco. See a Rapala OG series, which is Ots Garage, if you don't know. Um, crankbait in brim, which that's a good looking color. Brown, like a coppery color on the back. It's like a green and then a yellow with a white bottom, a little orange on the, the nose there as well. It's the Tiny Four, so dives to four feet deep, um, two and a quarter inches long, five sixteenths ounce. I've used the several of these and I really like this little crankbait. It's silent, that little rattling you hear is just the hooks. Silent, um, it's a balsa wood um, bait, so it's flat sided. Very buoyant, very like subtle. If you're a crankbait fisherman, I love crankbait fishing, uh, but you want something more subtle, a little bit more finesse. That's a great, great series to check out or any balsa baits for that matter, to be honest with you. But uh, Rapala makes these OG Odds Garage ones, uh, which are pretty nice. Next thing I'm seeing is a VMC, or sorry, Terminator jig with VMC hook. So Terminator jig, 3 8 ounce. Looks like, does it say what type of jig? It's just like a cast and flipping jig there. Uh, black and blue Terminator jigs are great jigs. There's even a little purple in there, which I really like. Uh, 3 8 ounce. Oh, it even says black, blue, purple. Yeah. So black and blue with a little bit of purple in there. It's like a bruised kind of color. Um, I love jig fishing. Jig is probably my favorite lure of all time. I just realized I didn't close my knife there. So get that out of the way. All right, soft plastics. We've got a few packs of soft plastics here. The Wacky Sticko. Um, never used this one. I've used the Bass Pro Tournament Series, just regular stickos before. It's just their... Um, uh, it's their Senko, right? It's their their stick bait. The wacky one though is slightly different. If you can kind of tell there from the the diagram, I don't know. I'll get it to where it focus a little bit. It's got like you know, it's kind of pinched in the middle a little bit, fatter on either end. Uh, it's a good shape. I really like that. And pumpkin seed is a four and a half inch Senko, which is kind of a unique size. They're usually four, five, six, you know, inches. So it's a four and a half inch. Be great with a wacky rig, great with a Nico rig. Um, so yeah, and you can't have too many stick baits in my opinion. If you've got green pumpkin stick baits, I mean, that's really all you need. All right, the Bohog, this is again, 
Bass Pro Tournament Series soft plastics because that's what Ott uses. That's the thing about this box is going to be it's lures that he recommends, it's lures he uses, right? It's companies he uses. VMC, Rapala, uh, Bass Pro. So Bass Pro Tournament Series, this is the Bow Hog. It's their like trailer, the chunk trailer there. This is black and blue. So I'm, I'm not a big chunk trailer kind of guy, but in certain situations, um, they're really great. Better to have on like a finesse or a subtle presentation for a trailer uh, that rather than having a full like big craw or beaver bait or something like that as a trailer. The next is another OG series, um, which is great. I love, like I said, I love those. This is the Slim 6. So six foot diving depth, two and three quarter inch and half ounce. So just a beefier, like bigger version of it. That one's in the craw, like a natural craw pattern. Um, root beer crawdad, I, I like that. It does have some like blue and green flake on the top, um, but then just a natural crawdad color through the bottom there. A little bit bulkier, still flat sided, still very subtle, um, balsa bait. So another great option there. These are kind of expensive too. Those can get up in the 10 to $12 range. So having a couple of those is pretty nice. Terminator Pro Series Spinnerbait. This is the half ounce. What's the color on this? It's called Shad Spawn. Okay, there's like some chartreuse, white, pink in there, double willow blade. Uh, spinnerbait, I love spinnerbaits. It's got even like a little bait keeper on the, you know, on the jig head there. Um, interesting color, but I think it would do really well. I mean, it just looks like a shad, and that's what it's meant to look like. So, really good there. And the last thing in this box is the Mad, sorry, Mag, Mad, Mag, Finn, Ike, Worm. Finn, Ike, Finn, Ike. I don't know how to say that. Tell me in the comments how you would say that. Um, it's a finesse worm, a six inch finesse worm. It's green on top, pearl on the bottom. This is hilarious. I literally just this week bought some drag and drop uh, Guggen worms in this exact color. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, I, I just think it's a good color, natural on top, pearl on the bottom. It can look like a shad in certain situations. It can look like a, you know, a natural worm or other type of forage. Um, this is an interesting shape though, six inch. It's got like a bulb on the end. So it'd be a good finesse worm. Um, really just any kind of application, Texas rig, wacky rig, Nico. This would be great on a Nico rig actually, I think, um, to make that, you know, the head of it kind of dive down and the bolt kind of sand up a little bit. So the big thing about these, I don't know if these are the same. So, okay, the chunks are five pack. Oh man, the wacky stickos are a 16 pack and these big finesse worms are a 10 pack. So lots of other bait companies don't do that many plastics in a pack. These Bass Pro brands usually do more per pack. So, um, okay, that's everything in the box. Some terminal with some unique rigs, not just, you know, Texas rig hooks or Ned heads or anything, you know, that everybody's using all the time. Nico and uh, Tokyo rig terminal, which is pretty cool. And VMC is a really great hook company. Uh, three packs of soft plastics. Two of them are worms. I would have liked to have gotten a craw, creature bait, something like that, but um, they're two different types of worms, so that's good. Uh, the chunk trailers, decent. It's good to have that option, right? It's not something I'll use all the time or use quickly, but it's something it's nice to have the option. Uh, good looking jig and a good looking spinner bait. Two lures that I use a lot, um, the jig and the spinner bait. And then of course, two of the Balsa Ots Garage uh, crankbaits, which I use crankbaits almost every single time I fish. I just, I default to throwing a crankbait to cover water uh, a lot of the time. So having two more of those, especially in these, like I said, because they're a little more expensive, they're good quality. Um, I really like that. So two Ots Garage crankbaits, the spinnerbait, the jig, two types of terminal and three packs of plastics. I would say definitely worth 
definitely worth the the forty dollar price tag because like I said that's over or like the package said it's over sixty dollar dollars worth of product in that box and you're paying forty for it and if you're a Bass Pro like club member you can get discounts and use points and things like that and get it even cheaper probably so you can get a lot of baits a lot of quality baits for pretty cheap honestly so I would definitely recommend this box um, especially. As I'm filming this, Father's Day weekend is coming up. It's probably gonna, this video is probably going to release after Father's Day, but um, it would be a great gift for Dad um, now that Father's Day is over, right? Um, but no, I think it'd be a great gift for anybody if you're wanting to just pick up a bunch of lures that you could, you know, you could take that box out and go fish with it. You got crankbaits, jigs, spinner baits, terminal, and some soft plastics. Um, you could take that out to a pond or a creek or even a lake or whatever and and do some fishing um, for a day or so and it'll add some stuff to your arsenal that you may not have had before tokyo rigs didn't have any of that um had some wacky rigs but not any specifically uh, nico specific rigs so you know a couple of even new things you may not have had before so if you uh like the box go and grab one for yourself there at bass pro or you can order them online it's a good deal I would recommend it. Guys, uh, thanks for checking out another video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like this video. Um, let me know if you want me to keep doing some box openings of different things, giving my you know, reviews, my initial thoughts of them, whatever. Uh, let me know down in the comments other types of stuff you'd like to see me open, and I'll see if I can get my hands on it and do that for you guys. Give my initial thoughts, reactions, suggestions, um, approval, disapproval, anything like that. This one I would definitely approve. Um, and like I said, thanks for checking out another video. We will see you on the next one. Peace.